Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Romer and I'm the Link Acquisition and Social Media Manager here at Paper Street. Today I'm going to be walking you through the basics of using Hootsuite. Um, I'm already logged into our account and um, we already have all of our pages linked to the account. Um, but if you're logging in for the first time, you'll have to add in your social network. So the way that you do this is go into the top left corner in the main navigation and click on your name and it will bring you to this page. Um, on this page you can see these are all of our networks that we have linked. If you have a free account, um, you can only link three pages. In the past, if you created an account maybe like a year or so ago, you could add five, but now they only allow three. Um, so if you want to add in a new network, you just click here on Add a Social Network. And depending on which one you want, you will just click on it here and click on this connect with LinkedIn or connect with Google Plus, whichever one um, that you're trying to add. So if I were to add Twitter, I would just click here on connect with Twitter. It's going to open up a new screen and ask you to log in to your Twitter account. You put in your username, your password, and click on authorize app. After you do that, it will link your account to Hootsuite. Um, just note that on some of these, um, like LinkedIn and on Twitter, they have um, this little thing that says to follow Hootsuite um, on Twitter or on LinkedIn. So if you don't want to follow them automatically, just uncheck that before you connect it. So once you go through the process of adding every single page, you'll see them all listed here. If you want to remove any of them, you would just click on this little gear and then click on remove from Hootsuite and you would do that for each one. Um, once you have them all added, you can go ahead and start posting to your pages. And so the way that you do this is very simple. You just go at the very top here and you would type in your message in this box, select the pages that you want to share to on the left hand side, and you can add a link right here. And that is all that you have to do. So let's do an example. If we wanted to share this blog post, we would just um, put in our message. So we'll say, find out what you need to know when adding a phone number to your website. To your website. And now I want to add in a link, so I'm going to copy this link and then paste it here. And then I want to shrink it, and what that does is make the link shorter, um, which comes in handy for Twitter. Um, and then on this side, you just select which ones you're going to share it to. So I want to share it to Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. And when you select these, you'll notice on the bottom right here, it will show you the characters that you have left for those networks. So for example, Twitter only allows you 140 characters, and they're telling you you have 42 left. If I were to add more um, text here, it would count down and show you that you only have 39 characters left. So once you have everything ready to go, you can either click send now, and this is going to send immediately, or you could click this little scheduling um, calendar and this will open up and you could send this in um, at a different time in the future. So let's say we want to send this next week, next Monday. We can just click on Monday. And then we want it to go out at 5.30 p.m. You could check email me when the message is sent or you could just go ahead and schedule it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click schedule. And now I've scheduled that to go um, on Monday. So if I wanted to see all of the posts that I have scheduled, I would just click over here on Publisher, and this is going to show me all of the posts that I have scheduled for the future. So I have one for Friday at 2.30 and one for Monday at 5.30. If I want to update this at all, I would just click on this little button, Edit Group. It would pop up and I could change the link, change the text, I could even update um, what networks that they're going to. I could click on these to add more um, and 
then I would save my changes. So if I had more things scheduled, it would show me all the ones throughout the week, but right now we only have two. So the last thing that I want to show you is the streams. Um, if you want to add streams, this helps you manage your pages and kind of see all the information all in this one dashboard. So what you can do here is either click create your first tab or click up here to add a new tab. And then you're going to go ahead and name it. So let's say I want to see all of my posts. I could name this posts. And right here I would select the network, so Twitter. And I would click on my tweets because these are all of the tweets that I've sent. Then I want to see Facebook. So I click on Facebook and I could click on my posts. And then these would be all of the posts that I've sent. And you could continue to do this for all of your social network um, pages. And this tab is just going to be my posts. Let's say I wanted a tab that just showed everything about Facebook. I could make that Facebook and I would click on Facebook here and then let's say I want to see what's scheduled for Facebook. I want to see my posts. I want to see my events. And so this would go ahead and show you whatever you want to see um, for that page. And you can organize this however you want. Sometimes people would have a tab for every network. Um, sometimes they would just have one tab um, from all the different networks but for one item so like we did for this one posts it's really up to you and what you want to use this for it's just supposed to make it easier so you don't have to log in individually to see this information um, but it really is up to you so that's really the basics of using this there are a few other things that you can probably do with it as far as adding apps and analytics if you had a paid account, um, you could add more profiles. Um, but this is just the basics of um, using Hootsuite. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and give us a call. I hope you um, enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day.